And now we are going to write five number summary for making a box plot. Okay, so our objective is to create a five number summary for box plot from the <coughs> above data set, which shows the test scores for uh, for a section of statistics. All right. So first thing we have done is that we have put the data in order. And what is the five number summary? We write the lowest number. Then we write the first quartile. Okay. Then we will uh, write the median, the third quartile and then the highest observation, right? Okay, so <clears throat> in this case, who is the lowest observation? It's right in here, that is 55. Uh, for the median, uh, let's, let's just hold on to the first quartile for a moment. For the median, notice this, that there are uh, 30 observations in total, just count it out, all right? One, two, three, four, and you shall see that there are 30 observations, okay? And uh, so for the median, what we will do is, the median is this place. Here we have the 15 lower numbers. Here we have 15 higher numbers. So our median is going to be what? The mean of the middle two numbers, which are 73 and 74. So in this case, the median is what? 73 plus 74 over 2. That is 73 point, uh, excuse me, 73 point 5, right? <clears throat> and the highest number, of course, we can see here is 81, right? So now for the first quartile, what we are going to do is we are going to write the median of the lower half. So this is the lower half of the data. And in the lower half, how many observations we have? We have 15 observations. Okay. So for the 15 observations, who will be my median? The eighth observations, which is actually in the middle. So this number 66 is going to be my first quartile, right? Okay, so <clears throat> 66 is my first quartile. Now for the third quartile, what we will do? We will go to the upper half. Again, in the upper half, we have 15 numbers. Okay, and if we look at the middle, in this case, that is 76, right? So 76 is the third quartile. So this is our five number summary for this data, and we can use it to create a box plot. So what we will do for a box plot, we, we know that the numbers that we are going to plot are going to range between 55 and 81, okay? So <clears throat> looking at that, Now, what we can do is that, as I said, that let's, uh, you know, make a scale ranging from 55 to 81. So say this is 55, this is 60, and just go in that order. And then, excuse me, what you will do is first you just plot the lowest, and then you just place a value for 66, and then the median, and then the third quartile, and then the highest number. And after that, the way we will draw this is, so now that we have the scale, what we will do is that, see this here? We have uh, this lowest number corresponding to 55. Then we have this value that corresponds to 66. Here we have the next point for 73.5 and then 76 here, and 81 is the highest value. And what we have done is, 
that the middle 50% of the values that are ranging from 66 to 76, we have enclosed that in a box here, okay? And this is the way we have our box plot drawn, all right? Now, an advantage of box plot is that we can compare the values for two groups. For instance, if these are the scores for two sections of the same subject, section one and section two, then we can create the five number summaries for them and then make a box plot. And so here we can you can see that we have plotted the five number summaries of both the sections in uh, this box plot in the side by side to compare them and see that this section is doing in general better than this one, okay?